Hey guys, this is a really quick video just explaining how to use the Google Finance function to pull stocks from other exchanges. What I've been showing you previously is that you can just put the ticker symbol uh, in a cell and then reference that cell dynamically and do the same thing again if you just want like the name uh, of the stock. Right? If you don't mention a stock exchange, Google is going to do its best guess uh, to figure out which one uh, you're referencing or what stock exchange you're referencing. If it happens to not be on the stock exchange, um, you know, we'll try to find it. So one for example is like Canopy Growth. Canopy Growth is on both the Toronto and the New York Stock Exchange. If I type in uh, Canopy Growth, the ticker symbol on the New York Stock Exchange is CGC, uh, whereas on Toronto it's just wheat. So if you do the same sort of formula, uh, you don't have to specify here a um, a specific stock exchange, but you definitely could. So the way you would do that is at the very beginning you just type the the um, the code for the stock exchange. So for Toronto it's TSC, and for the New York Stock Exchange it's uh, NYSC. And you put a, a colon and then the name of your ticker, and you'll still get the same result. Uh, where it differs is if you have some ambiguity. So say for example you have um, a ticker symbol that could be on you know other exchanges but it's for different companies. For example uh, this one uh, ACB. If you do the same sort of thing just take the uh, the formula and paste it in you get Aurora Cannabis. Right? That's on the New York Stock Exchange. Um, but if you type it in for say the Australian Stock Exchange and do ACB you're going to get a completely different company. And we could look here for uh, this ACAP Energy, and that's the stock exchange. If we're looking at the, the Australian stock exchange here, you have a completely different company, even though it's, just, it's the same ticker as one that happens to be on um, the New York Stock Exchange. So we're getting a completely different company here. So that's just one way to do it. Uh, here's a list, and I'm, I'm including this in the about section at the very beginning of the Google Finance Sheets page, uh, the list of exchanges that you can use uh, in the Google Finance function and the codes to access them. So here you see that's the whole list of uh, exchanges, exchange codes, uh, what they uh, do, and then also their delay time. So uh, I don't know if you can see that or not right here, like how uh, often they're updated. So some of them are real time, some of them aren't real time. There's like 15 minute delay on some of these. Um, I would just always expect there to be a delay of like five to 10 minutes. Um, here you can see it's 20 minutes. But yeah, that gives you a lot of information there. And if you just scroll down even further on this page, it gives you some other codes to access mutual funds, what the source it's coming from, uh, some indexes, how to access those. The, you could just put the uh, exchange code in there as well. And then same for currencies. So here you have currency as well. You have cryptocurrency. So that gives you an option to uh, pull crypto information uh, using Google Finance. Uh, in addition, you can pull currency information. So if you're using uh, this this format you're pulling from another exchange and it's going to pull from that local currency so here it's pulling like Canadian dollars here it's pulling um, whatever they use in Australia um, you would want to convert that to if you if you want to convert it to US dollar you can use that currency function and it'll be something in a similar way so you put like currency and then what you want to convert it to so if you're doing um, Australian dollar then you just, if you want to convert it to US dollar, you put it like that, like Australian dollar to US dollar. And then you can put it in the same format of just getting the price in for there. And it'll give you the exchange rate. Also a really good uh, blog post that I found about it as well um, on this website that kind of explains it pretty well and some additional details and some other uh, resources. So I'll link that in the description uh, so you can check that out. And if you ever want to make a copy of this sheet, uh, I'll make a copy right here, and we'll save it to your your, your Google Drive.
and then you can start editing it so you don't have to request information or access to edit this file you can just start editing right away yeah that's pretty much it if you have any more questions um, if you want to see something specific just let me know in the comments below or comment on any other video um, I really like doing this guys so thanks thanks a lot for your support and I really appreciate it thanks see you later